Hey guys, what up? Chris Haskins here with your weekly flip tip. I'm hanging out with one of my coaching clients, Charles Barnhill. What's up, brother? How you doing? Now this week, what we're doing, we're on the way, we're actually on the way to the courthouse steps. We're going to be bidding on some houses at the foreclosure auctions. All right, I've got 20 grand right here in my pocket. We're gonna be driving up here and you gotta have a 10% cashier's check to even make a bid on these properties. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, do some recording while we're there and we won't have any stink of brains up there trying to knock off my recording. But I've done my research on these two properties that I want to buy. We've done the title search. You gotta have a title search, guys, before you buy because you want to make sure the lien or the loan that you're, that's foreclosing is in first position. Spanky, spanky, a no-no if you're buying second position, be the trust. You're going to be in some serious trouble. So make sure you know exactly what position loan is foreclosing when you go up here to bid. All right, so we're bidding on two houses. One is going to be in Hampton, and the other one is in Newport News. So we'll get back to you when we get up here at the, at the uh, courthouse steps. All right, guys, so we're here at the courthouse steps. Here's Charles. How you doing? Lisa. You don't want to be on video. Lisa doesn't like being on video, guys. Anyway, so we're waiting for the auction. We've got about five to ten minutes before the actual trustee comes. All they're going to do is come out here, stand out front of the courthouse. I'll let you see. All they do is stand right out here. <clears throat> they start talking. If you can hear them, then you can bid. And you must have, remember I told you, you've got to have a cashier's check. And remember I've got, uh, my first one here is for 7,500. My mm -hmm. second one here is for 11,000. So you've got to have cashier's checks to be able to buy or even bid. They won't even let you take a bid unless you have the cashier's check because we don't want any BSers bidding up the, pro bidding up the prices, right? No. So, um, we might be able to get some action. I don't know if, you know, some stinker brains might not want me to record, but we'll see how it comes. And stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so Richard's here again. Money on the cashier's check. He's told me the starting bid is going to be 96.8, which is pretty much double what we wanted to offer. So this bid is off. You never know what the trustee is going to start off on the opening bid, guys. You just got to be here. So this deal is off. We're going to be heading over to Newport News in a few minutes for our second auction. So you got to be here to find out exactly how much the opening bid will be. The <laughs> bank did what? So we just finished the day going auction, guys. The bank bought it back, sold back to the bank for $96,000. We were going to offer 50, but not maximum. It's just too, way too high. I don't remember. Actually. I have questions. Megan, what you All got? the time. <laughs> what you got? This is Megan, guys, another coaching client. She came to see the auction also. All the way from the JV. So my question is, how do you find out this auction place? Oh, this auction was in a newspaper. Remember the inside bid? All the auctions, they have to, by law, put them in some type of publication that's going to go out to the masses and whatever town you're in. You can probably Google legal newspaper and find out foreclosures or trustee sales in your area. This house was actually, I got inside this one, it was actually listed on the MLS. The guy was trying to sell it while it was going to the uh, courthouse steps. While it was in foreclosure, he was trying to sell it. The owner. The owner. Yeah. It was on the MLS. I went inside. I knew exactly what it needed. I knew it needed 30000 anyway. Okay, Chris. Um, this place, that we, this auction that we're going to right now. We're going to another city. Right. Newport News. Um, when you win this actual bid, what actually happens, because I know that there's actually a tenant inside of the place. What actually happens with the tenant? Do you evict the person right then? Well, do you make them leave right then? Or how does that work? Do they start doing rent or which way? Great question, brother. Okay, so this house here, we're going to, we, have, we actually did a door knocking. So I know somebody lives in the house. And I know the person living in the house is the, the dead owner's son. So I have to make a decision what I want to do with him, right? Right. Well, first thing I would allow him to pay rent. If he wants to pay 600 bucks, he can stay for another month. Cool. If you don't want to do that, I will still work with him. He has two kids that live in the house with him. Um, I would get him, help him move. I would pay a security deposit wherever he's moving to. You know, $1,000 security deposit if I had to, just to help him out, get, help him get out of the house. 
My main goal is to keep him happy because I don't want him to tear the shit up. I don't want him to tear the house up. He already was talking about ripping out windows and stealing copper. And he didn't say he was going to do it. He said he would not do that. But the typical person doesn't even think about stealing copper. You know, who would do that? So he insinuated. He insinuated that he could do that, but he, he's not that type of person. But I would try to get him a moving truck, pay his first month security deposit wherever the hell he's going to move to. I've got to find out where he's going. Oh, my Lord. He could go buy a $3 bag of cement, pour it down in the toilet, and I'll be done. Okay. So the main thing here is once you actually acquire this property, um, try to work with the with the tenant that's actually there. Keep him happy. Try to see if you can move him on to the next place. You would do security deposit first month rent or just security deposit? Depends on how much fat I have in on the deal. How much meat is on this, call it meat on the bone. Okay. How much equity I'm gonna put be pulling out on this property would determine how much money I can give him. I would I would pay a security deposit as well as his first month rent if there's enough in the deal, absolutely. Okay. I want him happy, man. I want him walking out of that place smiling. Okay. All right, guys, so here we're, we're here at the next courthouse. We'll take a look at it. Charles, give a quick preview. All we're going to do is stand out front here. The guy's going to come out and start talking. We're going to show them our, once again, show them our cashier's check and bid on this next property. I don't know if it'll even go to auction because the last one we just came from, pretty much 11 out of the 12 auctions got canceled and the bid was too high. So this one, I'm gonna hope that the bids will be a little lower and then we can pick something up today. Boy, the guy's gonna come out here and stand and start talking and hopefully we'll see him before he gets to our house. I don't know what it looks like. Is it rolling? Go. All right guys, so we're here at the car. We're here at the auction waiting for him to start. You see the vultures are, st are surrounding the trustee over there. All right. Get some steals too, y'all. Go. All right, guys. So we we're here at the final line, at the final moment of the foreclosure auction. The trustees over there finalizing another sale. Our house, the one I was looking for, the bid started at seventy-five thousand. The most I wanted to spend was maybe fifty-five. The house needed forty-five thousand in work. So there's no way I could have do, I could have been able to do that deal. So foreclosure auction is over. Trustee sale is over. We're gonna go back in the field, look for some new houses. Do another title search. We'll be back down here at the next auction to see what we can get. All right, sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. Chris Haskins, Weekly Chris Flip Tips. See you next time.